Uh, <laughs> hi. Um, hi, everyone. Welcome back hi. to TVI, episode 145. Oh, my days. Too much words. <laughs> <laughs> Too much speaking, yeah. isn't it? Uh, guest Bobby Mayer, comedian, podcaster, actor. Hello. Are you, are you, would you say? I, I know I'm an actor. Yeah, I wouldn't say acted. I'm an actor. I know, well, but yeah, I think it counts. But I, yeah, I'm an actor. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Father. Yeah, new I, dad. Most likely. Yeah. What's uh, <laughs> what date was your one? Well, what your child December is very 20th. young. Oh, Christmas baby. That is a you've ruined her life. I know. <laughs> As somebody's birthday is early January. You say ruined her life. I say I save money on presents. Yes, you have it's saved true. a lot of money. Yeah. It's um. It's a really economical yeah. so time. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm January the thirteenth. Okay. Which I feel is far enough from Christmas. I should not get double present. Like I should I shouldn't get a Christmas and birthday joint present. That's no, almost a month you away. But everyone's always like, here it is, this is your joint present. It's like, fuck you. So, no, 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 mate, get bastard. back down to the shop, mate. But December the 20th, she's got no excuse. No, she's she getting hasn't. joint presents. Yes. Fuck. That's nice, though. Um, And winter babies. Are you what? What are you a winter or... or January 5th. I see you're a winter baby as well, so you'll know we are more prone to the blues. Are we? <laughs> really? Well, I think so, because, you know, we are... Is that Well, science? you just said, I think so, as if... You're guessing. Well, I like think, I know, because your birthday's in. <laughs> it's a, it's a your big... birthday's during the sad time of year. But it's a sweeping generalization to be like. That you think? Is... Wait, mate, do you? Do we, did you read a if study? You've known or me something? long enough, mate. <laughs> That's what I do. Did you read a study? Uh, I have not read any studies. <laughs> you said it so confidently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very confident with my absolute bullshit. <laughs> Bro, science. When's your, birthday? When's your birthday? June 12th. So you're a summer baby. Yeah, put it in your diary. Which is why you're so chipper and upbeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What if we've cracked it open and that's all it is? That's all it is. I know, Don't that's, that's, have a kid in the winter. Yeah, yeah. they're the depressed ones. No, it's not. I just yeah. I think it's more. I growing up, I always just sort of resented my birthday. Whereas everyone I know had like a summer birthday seemed happier. Okay. What so, day were you born on? Wednesday. Mm, about you. I don't know how I know that. That might have been the problem. It is a, a yeah, boring day. A Wednesday. A, a midweek baby. Hump what do you want to be? Hump day. You want to be Saturday. Uh, August the first. Yeah, that's the best birthday. I've but then you're you're the youngest. The you're the youngest in your school year. Oh, that's shit, horrible. Yeah. You're less likely to achieve. Yeah. What were you? Were you young in your year then? Not particularly. June's a b you towards the younger. Well, it's the last. Oh no. It's a month it's before September the end of school. September. So it's oh, towards I the younger. But there, there's still a lot in January and in, in July and August, isn't there? Well, not as. I mean, the rest of the year is still much. Yeah, longer. I'm towards the kind of third, I guess. Yeah. My Maybe daughter, left. my daughter was the end of August, but we put her back a year, that's so she's good, the oldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good. That's a good. Trick. In her whole school, she's twenty-seven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what is what is your child? It's a a female. Female. And what's her name? Mabel. That's a nice that's name. That's nice. Yeah. That's my that's my um, nan's name. Mm, we told my. Did you I, know that? Yes, oh, I, I I love your nan. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I I told my 102 year old grandmother. I like that you. I put the headphones on. I put the headphones ASMR. on so I'm, that I'd hear everything. But I didn't know Julian would be vaping inside my ear right. <laughs> constantly. Darth Vader. I also vape, but I, I think I think if both of us do it, Carl would just gets smoked out. I don't mind. No. As an ex-smoker, I take a little bit of secondhand vape. You yeah. can hold Fumes. off on it. I, I'm a, a, properly addicted. No, I am. I mean, I, I do. Do you do it a lot? Yeah. Oh, uh, constantly. Yeah. My Did you ever smoke? You smoke? I smoked for years. Ah. Yeah. It's great to. Um, I I I I mean, I had to actually Google: Can you vape near a baby? Yeah. <laughs> no. You can't. No, they don't like it. Well, I'm sure. They yeah, could get probably... addicted to it. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Can I didn't know the vape. Uh, what what's it called? Jeez. Well, nicotine. Steam. Nicotine in bed general. I would suppose, I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a stimulant. But um, good for what them. nicotine level are you on on your vape? The highest. Oh, really? I never really? did that thing where I like, I, I stride at one point to taper down, but then I was like, why don't, I'm just going to enjoy vaping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. nicotine itself isn't bad for you, is it? It's the tar. Well, it's, well, that, it's a stimulant, so it's bad for you in the same way that too much coffee would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah but not in the same way that tar is. Yes. No, no. So you're not going to get lung cancer you're not from burning nicotine. tar into your lungs yeah. anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's still it's not. insane smoking, isn't it? Well, yeah, but um, so delicious. Though. But it, it, surely in the old days it would have just been literally dried tobacco leaf, smoked. You know, it's not. I'm not saying it's good for you, but it was. It was, it was doctors used to say it's good for you, didn't they? I mean, doctors used to say that taking cocaine cured the flu. So doctors you know, say that vaccines I mean, are good for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Don't you start with like, Joe even, Rogan. I've yeah. been double vaxxed, by the way. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, for what, what disease? <laughs> Hepatitis. <laughs> Hepatitis vaccine. Julian gets a, a monthly MMR jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. A laugh. My BCG. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... Uh, um, yeah, the old, I reckon it's probably all the shit we put in cigarettes that have made it obviously much worse in the modern age, where it used to just be a lovely bit of tobacco. <laughs> yeah, pure leaves. Yeah, man. It's still fire, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I'm not saying anyone should breathe in fire. It's not healthy to have a, you know, people have open fires in their house, like lovely old sit by the fire. If you haven't got good ventilation, it's very bad for you. But I hate the people. Like, I did the, uh, I did this podcast. Um, it's about, like a comedy history podcast. And, um, I was we were doing research each episode we kind of dive into a year and I was doing research on the in this year and then it turned out that in that year the oldest lady ever died she was a 122 year old french lady yeah and she quit smoking at 117. And that's what killed her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five years off the snouts, mate. Dead. But isn't that so... There's dip- no other reason she would have died at that age. <laughs> but if I knew I could live to be 122, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you're not going to quit smoking. No. You're like, okay, let's just no. party. Did you know, if I, did I say this last week, I, read, I don't know where, I read it in some book, and it's on in facts. You're like, oh, that's nice. No one's ever died of old age. It's always like pneumonia. Yeah, there's always an actual on the death cause of death. Old yeah. age technically cannot kill you. It's just as your body obviously degenerates to a point where something goes wrong. Yeah, something gets you. Even like a main art. What they main heart, heart attack. Yeah. I think heart, heart attacks tend to be the main killer of old people. So it's a heart attack that kills you, not actually heart old disease. Age. Is the n- old age is the old age has put it put the assist in do you know what I mean on, on a, no, there's no de- put it in the box <laughs> there's no and death the, certificate uh, not where it says oh, old age on it the no, no, assist no. of the year yeah so I think it's actually yeah yeah so <laughs> pneumonia is a big one isn't it yeah that loves getting them doesn't it, it yeah. getting I think until days. I was about 20 years old I thought pneumonia and ammonia were the same thing like What's I, that, what is I thought, uh, like ammonia? Ammonia is gas, is it? Yeah, I, it comes off wee wee. Oh, yeah, well, I didn't know they were different things. I, knew like that. That. I used to <laughs> chug on the piss. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I used to drink piss regularly. And that's, you just learn. Um, <laughs> never been into Steam piss. your face no. with piss and have a towel ever, over never, it. Can I just check everyone in the room? Has anyone ever been into water sports? No, but when I was a child, I was about three or four, I drank a little bit of my own piss in the bath. Oh, that's all right. Just like intentionally, in though, cup. or you just take it over in a cup? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you I mean? pissed in a cup and drank it. <laughs> so you, did you get out of the bath to piss in the cup? No, I was in the bath. So you stood up, weed in a cup, sat back down, yeah, shot it. just was <laughs> it's like a quite see, what would, see what would, how it would be. And what, do you remember what it was like? It, yeah, I remember at the time, like, I had no kind of like um, point of reference for the taste yeah. except for when my dad pissed in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> that was to get um, that was to get a tenner but I thought it tasted like the smell of Play-Doh right but that was probably the only thing I'd ever smell were you eating point. Play-Doh at the time or anything like that sometimes yeah. I remember eating plasticine and thinking it was like chewing gum and that chewing it for a little bit yeah, yeah. I remember putting spiders in my mouth and stuff okay um, <laughs> my daughter loves her favourite thing to chew is um, you know like headphones the little rubber bit that goes in your ear oh uh, yeah pull that off and then just chew on that for a I've bit like it's a hair. fucking she bit of chewing watch. tobacco. She shouldn't swallow it, though. I won't let her swallow it. I'll just let her chew it. <laughs> <Just> spit it <laughs> out. Strengthen her immune system. Yeah, just get yeah, it in yeah, there. Yeah. Get as much. Yeah, but no, she does chew it. I know I always say spit it out, and then she spits it out. But oh. I, she'll just sneak off and find headphones, pull it out, and just be like... I bet they I go, feel nice. Like that, and she goes... <laughs> some, Sadly, yeah, it's get quite some little, hubba bubba. Yeah, a toddler. The way you deal with a toddler and a dog are so similar. Like it's just constantly finding them chewing things, and you're like, okay. Yeah, but I will say, <laughs> I'm, we're quite little, lucky. Give her a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're not giving babies bones. It's a true. baby bone. It's um, probably good for their teeth. I think I, I, and again, this doesn't come from any study. This is pure <laughs> you're just, guesswork. But you're going to say it like it's full of truth. But Here's another fact. I, another. We're going to have a misinformation yeah, warning at the start. We should. Podcast. I mean, definitely. I mean, please don't take any advice off me. But um, people will be trying to get it taken off Spotify. <laughs> Neil Young's gonna. No, he's already pulled it, hasn't he? Yeah. Fucking, you know, Simon and Garfunkel are pulling their music because I the said The Beastie this. Boys. But um, basically, uh, we we me and my wife are very relaxed in how we react with our daughter. Like if she does put something in her mouth, it's always can you that's can you spit it out? You yeah, you're not like. Really, no! Yeah, and actually, oh, she's now. Uh, of an age where, like you know, sort of people like we've got friends who had babies around the same time. Their kids have been putting stuff in their mouth constantly, like you know, and they they react like I saw. We were at a park once with friends, and their son, who was exactly the same age as my daughter, put a stone in his mouth, 
and like uh, our friend the mum like literally f- like fucking fish hooked him jumped over whoo, like pulling it out of his mouth calm down and i was like mama. you're creating a thing aren't you whereas with twyla she'll put a stone in her mouth and i'll be like twyla can you spit it out you shouldn't really eat stones and she'll just go Bleh, like that so i think you do create the habit yeah. of them yeah, what yeah, thinking yeah. oh this is something naughty I'll it's like it. if they swear and you go no no like you just they would, they'll do it more whereas if you laugh like i do if yeah yeah twyla does anything bad you. i laugh yeah which is i don't know if that's a good no i don't think that's, no, that's not good, good at all that's, <laughs> good. <laughs> that's the opposite long to term. good <laughs> long term should just be crashing cars and looking yeah, for yeah, people yeah, to yeah, laugh yeah. at it. why aren't these policemen laughing but i just say i can't help it i find it really funny when she's naughty it is funny though isn't it it is it's something like naughtiness is innately funny i think definitely so i think i do, I do but i do think you're you're going to create worse habits by reacting very negatively oh, yeah. and stressed. Just it. keep it cool. Keep v- it cool. Vegan, sweet. I'm good. I got a can of Coke. We could just, just like a giant um, candy. Have right. you ever, are you a full, you're a full strength coker. Never yeah, I don't like Diet Coke. Taste or something Take. else? No, I, I'm not, it's not, I mean, it's not because it has aspartame. It's just, what does I don't that like even the, do? I don't know. Let's a lot spread of some more misinformation. If I, Carl, if I was Carl Donnelly, I'd comfortably say, well, aspartame, <laughs> what we all know about aspartame is oh, it yeah. kills people. Of course, uh, prostate cancer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just guess, Making things have a up. guess, You it? tip it in your bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, they do say it's bad for you, though. It causes rectal bleeding if you, yeah. Does put it, the whole yeah. can inside your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you go to parties. <laughs> Depends which kind of parties you put the you're whole at. can into your asshole, it basically. <laughs> but actually, I had to... Stretch your body. Actually, the reason you shouldn't have artificial sweeteners <laughs> is because it, your body sp- has an insulin spike as if you've had sugar, but you haven't. So you don't actually have the thing that then pays Isn't it Isn't sugar artificial, though? No. Sugar's oh, an, apple. Like an apple. But the processed sugar in that... I, well, uh, no, but you're still getting is, some calories off it as well. Uh, so you can... This but is whereas just if like you, apple juice. Yeah, if you have empty... Uh, I do love a can of Coke. I don't really drink it. I, I see. I only like I only like Diet Coke. That gives me a headache because of the sugar I get content. I've just you just like headaches. I like sugar. <laughs> oh, right. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have enough sugar in my life that if I didn't have it, I'd get it. Well, that's weird because I can eat a sugary sweet like that. Lovely. can of Coke, though. Well, this is probably tw- 20 it, of those. It has got caffeine yeah, in it as well. Yeah, crazy amount of sugar uh, in it. It does have, yes. Yeah, Diet yeah, Coke's yeah. quite addictive. I know a couple of people that do about I, 10 cans oh, yeah, a day. Oh, yeah, I know lots no of people. Way. Like proper addicty types just go to that or like monster or i saw a, i saw a very um young pretty girl when i say like and when i say girl, you I bought mean, her a she coke was 20, she was probably 25 but now <laughs> she was 12 yeah. but now, but, <laughs> but I'm, I'm now at, Carl's just the, changing the age but now i'm in my 40s a 25 year old is a girl yeah of That's course you're so like hello how are you but she was drinking uh she was just a pretty young girl <laughs> she was in hot, like a sort of just nice... say she was fucking hot. she was <laughs> no, do you know what? she wasn't I was like, like That's what Carl means. Car- if she wasn't you were- hot. Okay, she well, was if just you- pretty. If you were on an island with her and you never, you knew you'd never see your family again, we were like, and there was well, no laws. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, it's uh, exciting to be spending time with you, you pretty child. Yes, that's and exactly she's like, what I'm I was a 25 saying. year old woman. Would you go at it paternally or go, uh, at, go at it? Well, initially, I'd, get, I'd be paternal initially but to, then I- to garner her trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that- I would rut her against the palm tree. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Till you were solid. <laughs> <laughs> Take me two days to get a boner at this point, <laughs> but um, she she was just um, she looked like a, sort of she worked in an office. She was quite sort of just normal. She had the biggest can of like like electric blue monster. Yeah, and I was like, who the fuck drinks that stuff apart from Brendan Burns? <laughs> <and people laughs> like that. I've never seen anyone else drinking monster. No one listening knows who that. But... I know he's a comedian who literally lives on. Monster. He chugged that stuff when I used to yeah, see him. Yeah. Oh god! Um, but I've never had a can of it. I think it would give me heart palpitations. I can't drink like. I, I remember the, I used to drink vodka and Red Bull, and yeah. it fucked me yeah, up. So it's monster days. stronger than Red Bull. I re- it's, I it's, it's a, a bigger, bigger can. can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just, they they don't have the lion's share. Red Bull is like the 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 top shelf stuff, so they just go, we will give you more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's yeah. It's Do you ever drink? And we'll put it? graffiti on to, the can. I used to drink all that. Cr- I used to actually go to Tesco's and buy their own brand oh. Red Bull, sugar free, and just drink that all day, and then. Uh, uh, sugar free, the good, the one that's yeah, good for yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sugar free one, which has had aspartame and caffeine in. I, I think energy drinks are I, like probably worse for you than alcohol. Be, for this reason, if you had five beers, you'd be like, okay, I've drank five beers, I can live my life now. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if you drank five c- cans of Monster Energy drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would be on the ground with your heart pounding out of your head. Well, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it's also, like booze, crack. booze is sort of a, is sort of a means to an end. If you had eight pints. 
by the eighth pint, you're fucked and you're going to pass out. At least you'll then sleep. If you have eight cans of Red Bull, Behind man, the you're wheel. done, man. You're just done. Yeah. Skin. You're going to be awake for two days, aren't you? So ultimately, booze does have an end game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I suppose. There's no, again, that's no, there's no something. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean, though. <laughs> We're going to have to do an intro to this one saying this is the most untrue. Makes I've you ever tired said. and tired, I guess, where the other one yeah, like, yeah, wakes yeah. you up. It's less of a stimulant than one. You know what I mean? Should you get yeah. some monster in? Absolutely not. I genuinely, I think, I think it would fuck me up. Should Especially now, at the minute, I'm, I'm doing this weird, I'm obsessed at the minute, not obsessed, but um, I'm trying to, like, I'm doing time restricted eating. Uh, I'm sort of working out my sleep pattern much better. I've got a much more rigid sleep pattern at the minute. And it's great. Um, like I've got, I'm getting up at the same time every day, no alarm or anything, and then going to bed roughly about the same time. If I'm gigging, I get I, obviously I'm allowed to push it an hour or so, mm. but my eating ends at a certain time. And when does your eating end? Well, it's 11 uh, p.m. It, uh, <laughs> I eat constantly till yeah. 11 p.m. Until I pass Just out. I sleep, yeah. <laughs> well, I never eat after I've passed out. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, I put yeah. a drip in no while one I sleep. No one food into my mouth while I'm asleep. <laughs> um, I try and finish by 6 p.m. That's uh, reasonable. Yeah. Then yeah, you yeah. give your body a long time. To yeah. Metabolize. And I start eating. Uh, so, well, but I, it basically depends on what time I start eating. I start eating between eight and nine a.m. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's near a nine, I'll give myself till seven. Okay. So uh, and yeah, so it's sort of at the minute I'm very limited. My caffeine. I, I won't have another coffee today, and I'm trying to just. I'm trying to find a routine that see how see what happens. You, you seem to know more about health than me. Uh, do you think it's healthy to wake up at 3 a.m. and just eat a bag of Doritos and go back to bed? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so I shouldn't be doing that three times a week. <laughs> you I, were talking about you sometimes when you wake up with a bowl of cereal in the night. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did, I did it last insane. night. I did it last night. That yeah. blows my mind. The thought of eating in the night. I, I get so hungry at like 3 in the morning and then I just go and I shove I, I, sometimes I'll get a, eat a whole jar of peanut butter in the middle of the night. And then I've go back done to bed. that. What with, time yeah. would you have gone to sleep? I, well, maybe I went to bed at one and I'll wake up at 5 a.m. Eat a jar of peanut butter, then get a, then go to the white sugar bowl and just eat spoonfuls of sugar, <laughs> oh and then God. go back to sleep. You're and then, in good shape though. And like, then I'll, not, I, my metabolism, whatever. I don't know what's wrong, but I'll still my internal organs probably still look like a morbidly obese <laughs> grandmother, like they're fucking horrible. But then. But then I'll wake up in the morning. I'm like, oh, I feel so tired. What's wrong? And I'm like, well, what's wrong is, yeah, 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 yeah. you were, you didn't you were actually eating sleep. sugar from a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 your body just spent all its energy, like you know, yeah, digesting yeah, yeah. whatever you just put into. And it. also, you woke up. If you wake, if you go to bed, sleep at one, you wake up at five. Chances are you're waking up at five because your body wants it should be up. Like that's it wants getting sugar. towards sun. No, it's, just, it's getting towards sunrise. That's when you naturally should get up. That's what so you you're all getting. You're getting get up as like expecting breakfast. Mm, well, I because had you it. went to bed at one. I had it. You're, yeah. Then you're, you haven't actually accrued enough sleep to function. And how much sleep does that guy? What's that guy's name again? What's oh uh, that the doctor guy yeah. from the Andrew is, Huberman? Is that that? Yeah, I've watched a lot. Well, of they reckon stuff. it's between sort of you want to get between no eight, less eight than six and hours. Or... You want to be getting no more than nine hours. Oh, it's, that, it's between six and nine hours sleep. Is the I really don't think window. he has to be a doctor to say yeah, get between six and nine hours <laughs> yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah. We all know that. <laughs> yeah, Who yeah. doesn't I know? know you true. should get between six hours sleep. I'm an expert in sleep, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. have developed. Yeah, yeah. If you get under it's six, funny these sleep experts, isn't it? Like they go on sleep experts. Well, you spend most of your life asleep or what? Well, you've done it yeah, more yeah, than yeah, us. Yeah. I've yeah. watched a lot of people sleep. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, <laughs> you must know what Creep it is expert, to sleep. mate. <laughs> People smell sexier but, when they sleep. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> one the, but it's one of the simplest things. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact but, right there. But it is, it's one of the simple things that I think we all forget <laughs> because we live in and we Our lifestyles are very, they're not very good for sleep. Uh, our bodies. They? Um, yeah, yeah, we we are night dwellers. <laughs> so I said it like with vampires, but <laughs> yeah, I mean we are sort of yeah inclined to be awake, yeah, yeah work at you... night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When everyone's asleep. Oh yeah, I know it's horrible. Working hard. <laughs> oh, we've chosen a bad. I want to get a normal job. <laughs> well, sleep experts must only work at night too. True. Well, that's a night job. Uh, well, so no, yeah, they're doing the hard graph. Sleep. As they do the hardest work when they're asleep. Yeah. <laughs> so they just sleep. Yeah. They. I don't know. I don't know what a sleep expert actually does. Sleep expert. It's right. so stupid. Isn't we it? had one on the pod here once. <laughs> Did you? Oh really? Yeah. Were they boring? So Everyone's boring. asleep. It was like <laughs> literally was sleep so the whole time. Boring. <laughs> he was like, but it was a friend of mine's pod, uh, and it's he's kind of. I think he was a DJ before, and now he's a, he's kind of does sleep expert. So I don't trust his change of career. It was career, crazy, man. yeah. Um, and he wasn't was... getting enough gash DJing. <laughs> <laughs> 
it was it was he was it's giving like, really like really obvious thing. answers and it was kind of, yeah, I, yeah, it, yeah. it was so so boring uh, yeah so boring so hard I, it's always funny when somebody goes from that it's like when you sort of an ex comedian is now like a you know they run a sort of yoga retreat you're, I like, have, you, you're like you did so much coke back in the yeah, day yeah, like, i yeah. have the best story of that yeah. okay so there was a comedian named alex lazaroff he's a canadian comedian yes I, 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 remember remember him. I have to tell you his trajectory so he was a comedian for years that's only important in the sense that did he become a pickup artist? He, yeah. Then he became a pickup artist. Right. Uh, then I hadn't heard from him in years, and he was he a couple of his videos went viral where he just walked with women. He asked twenty women for their number. One would give it. And he'd be like, "See, that's how you do it, guys." It's like, yeah, if you ask every yeah, yeah, woman, yeah, 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 that's yeah. like Boomhauer from King of the Hill. Game, yeah. Yeah. You're not a genius, and you're sitting there with a fucking man bun and tits, and you're. It like, used to be quite annoying on the circuit in England. Yes. So yeah. I mean, I wasn't. I heard say, about it. Yeah. He's an annoying. Notoriously guy. unpopular is what I'd say. I, a the most unpopular comedian I've ever encountered. So, uh, did you ever meet Vince Fluke? I did, but people had a warmth for him. I suppose, but he, he was also it a was nutter. Like, yes, um, but I don't. I don't know Vince well enough to come, but I know Alex well enough. So. Um, <laughs> I know him well enough to dig him out on a yeah, podcast. Happily, happily. <laughs> I had the guy's a fucking crazy asshole. Uh, he was just scamming people. He was like, uh, especially when he's a pickup artist, he was like, was he running like seminars? Yeah, things? he was running seminars where he charged thousands of pounds to like talk to like half autistic guys and just say, look women in the eyes. Then they'd go, okay, and then they'd just <laughs> steal all their fucking money because they didn't want to be alone. Um, then I hadn't heard from him in years. I thought, what is this like quite guy? A good business model, though. <laughs> what is this guy up to? So I, I uh, during lockdown, I was just so bored. I fucking Google him. I find him. He had done a video where he talked about uh, having a spiritual awakening, and he was just selling like spirituality now, and like he ten grand he, a piece. Yeah, <laughs> and it, I genu- like it sounded very Christian and kind of how he had found God, and I was like, that's interesting. And that was like six months. That was probably a year ago this video was made. And then I thought, I wonder what he's done since. And I, I just keep searching, keep searching, keep searching. A few months later, probably three months later, there's a video of him. It's right at the beginning of COVID. And he's in Vancouver. This video went viral. And he is in a he's in the passenger seat of a truck. And he has a megaphone. And he is hanging out of the the passenger seat shouting at people because they're wearing masks oh yeah and he's just like you're a sheep you're a sheep and it was like in the heart of the first lockdown oh man and uh this guy walks up to him holding a bike just picks up the bike and starts smashing into his window and he's like i'm gonna kick you in the face i'm gonna kick you in the face and then the guy smashes entirely through the window with the bike and then alex (laughs) tries to kick him in the face i think and uh, yeah, Praise so Jesus. I think that's what he's up to now. That's what, <laughs> what he's up, up to now. now. I'm just shouting at people out of a megaphone. <laughs> just having fights in the street. It's that insane. Is, um, I mean, that does feel like but quite he a natural from trajectory. For spiritual him. guru. Yeah. And he so we went comedian, pick up pick up artist, uh, spiritual guru, anti vaxxer yeah. all within the course of like five years. That's amazing, isn't it? Fuck it's yeah, um, no. it's a real. Um, I can see that trajectory, though. I know. It does happen. It's all the same thing. You're all... Narcissism works in everyone. Yes. He approached me in Edinburgh. I didn't know him. I'd gigged with him, like, once. I'd heard about him, though, being annoying and stuff, and uh, asked me to go on his man seminar. Yes. I was like, I'm all right, man. (laughs) I'm already... Were you like, I have five children? (laughs) You're you're like, you're you're already (laughs) talking to the king. (laughs) I'm the biggest... Talking to the guru. (laughs) Bow to the guru. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realise who I was. Then he got on his knees. <laughs> you just showed him some hand signal. And he's like, it's you. <laughs> you created he it. He pinched me. <laughs> the fucking patient zero of pickup artists. Yeah. Um, no, it's yeah, it's such a. I, when I found out he was doing the pickup artists, I was like, oh, that makes sense to me. There seems to be a lot of comics who are doing that. Was there? Yeah. It's because they got the confidence, I guess, and there's a market for it, isn't there? Yeah, but it, it, it's such a lie. You can't say to, like, very super unconfident guys. Like you said, some people might be on a bloody autism Well, it's just men that don't yeah, know how yeah. to speak to women, and then you're just taking the money to give and them yeah. obvious tips. And also, like... the truth of the matter is, like, you, you, it's a, it's often about where you start from as well. So he was a com- super confident guy who was doing stand-up it's for years. It's quite a good-looking like, guy. Isn't he's not, he's not being honest with him. He's saying anyone can do this. Like, no, you really mo- it's mostly confident people can do this you're lying to people if you say yeah. anyone could just approach a girl in a bar and be like hey how are you doing all right like because you know of course you can't some guys would fucking rather crawl up their own ass yeah 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 so um yeah so he's, he's selling a lie it does, is that still about 
do you think? I don't know. Oh, so pick, pick up artists. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, 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 I yeah. also think sort of the the internet, the Tinder been... wave and revolution. Yeah, that's sort of, of but the the Tinder playing. Swindler. But pick up artists. They had like uh, like superhero names, and his name on his YouTube channel was Sasha Day Game. Oh Ooh. yeah, yeah, Day God. Game. Day Game. Because he because a lot most pick up artists uh, work pick up. Night. They work at night, but the, his whole thing was about how to meet women in the day and get your day game <laughs> it's on. So cynical. And <laughs> get horrible, your morning game going. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's, I have to pick up women at 6 a.m. in a park. Like, <laughs> on the school run. <laughs> and it's all, at, a, at a gate. It's all so be obvious. Sam, baby. Just, like, just be friendly. Yeah. Well, that is ultimately be, don't be a cunt. Be yourself. Be friendly. Should we watch a video? Or? Have you got yes. one? Yes. yes. Oh, shit. The Let's one with it. the most views. The one with the most views. Is this the one of him the, getting a bike through the window? Uh, I no, don't... no, we can find that one. I can, I can help. I can... <laughs> You can reenact it. Let's have a look. Oh, here he is, man bun. I don't remember. I can't remember what he's Is this like. him? Yeah, that's him. 100%. What's his name? Crazy Day Game. Man. Sasha Day Game. Oh, Sasha Day Game. Uh, I'm me... so happy this has yeah. happened. I've been thinking about this for years. Let me see what this guy sounds like. <laughs> Do you know I'm in Canada? Hi. What's going on? It's me, Sasha, and I'm testing my brand new fancy microphone. It costs 400 pounds. That's like $600. But apparently... It's got excellent. Is this in London? He's in London. Yeah, yeah. Does he live in London? I don't know if he this does is now. Six, this is six grand time. worth, by the way, people. <laughs> yeah, let's start bragging about our cost of microphones. Right. That isn't even a top knot. I don't know what's happened to that. It's so. something about Mary kind of gone, gone it's, on yeah. fucking Yeah, it rack. looks like he came in his own hair. Wind, Probably all that women's jizz in his head. <laughs> yes, you need oh. the intro music. Wow. I mean, he's mixing out nice. An hey. approach diary. He knows how to edit a video. Give him credit where it's due. Um, oh, Oxford Street, mate. Again, this is like pure numbers game. Isn't yeah. It? Shooting ducks in a barrel. <laughs> what is he wearing? Uh, don't panic. I'm not crazy or anything. <laughs> this man has got a massive amount of... See that? I saved your life just then. Thank you. That's not actually why I came over to save your oh. life. Uh, I Yuck. just saw you and thought you looked fucking phenomenal. Thank you. And I, I thought, find this so cringy. I'm not I know, now, he's just doing crowd work on a so. fucking <laughs> random <laughs> woman. Doing junglers <laughs> MC in, <Yeah. laughs> in the street. Guys, guys, I'm trying to watch. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> trying to pick up some... Mooch is over there making notes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see Mooch later out here. Yeah, just just like, doing so, yeah. gaming women. So just wear some paisley shorts, top knot. Okay, cool. The top knot, obviously, is that thing they call peacocking. This isn't it where you have something yeah. sort of very noticeable about your appearance so, yeah. and the shorts and that would be that as well unless yeah, he's yeah. just dressed they say, shit. They, they say <laughs> you, just... you should accessorize as well yeah, 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 yeah. have stuff on and like little rings and that all right come on let's hit it let's see how he goes what are you, what are you up to? what's your what's um, your story olivia other than being i don't live in london oh well, we might as well just cut to the chase. Are you willing to come down just to have like an amazing affair? Mm. Maybe once a month? It's too expensive. Uh, no, sir. It's too expensive for me to come. <laughs> oh, no. Is it? Come, yeah. Let's just pretend I'm a lawyer and I earn 300k a year. Pretend? Just tell her you're oh one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're already... This is why he's the king. This is why I'm the king. <laughs> he's already like creepily filming her. Yeah, like, imagine yeah, she yeah. just turns around, she's like, why are you filming yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. I don't understand is why are you putting up a, a, a big L? Like when she just says no. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, we haven't seen it. Uh, maybe might, he, he does. Still, he, he might, might, he might snatch turn. victory from the jaws of... Always be closing <laughs> session like day game. game. No, that was a dirty, that was a dirty joke. But uh, how come you're in London now? Um, to go and see a few modeling agencies and go to a castle. <laughs> well, look at you. I'm, I'm a model. I'm so pretty. <laughs> man, oh. Man. Oh. Oh. Just so you know, that actually that's... lowers you in my eyes a little bit. Sasha, shit game. That's the, <laughs> I believe that's the negging part. Yeah, that's yeah. what they call yeah. yeah. like, It's that funny thing it's so, like, telegraphed. Like, yeah. Um, go on. Let's go. We just see. Let's go. Don't know. Yeah, skip to see how this ends. Most models are bitchy, yucky girls. Yeah. Bitchy right. and yucky. Oh, yeah, you, no, you seem, You're you know, bitchy and yucky, like you nice fat person. loser. <laughs> <laughs> this life Look at his tits. You can see his tits just protruding. It's like key to meeting women. Make your tits smaller, you fucking loser. <laughs> Should we go to five twenty-three? Yeah, I just want to see how this <laughs> and your small fucking pudgy bag. I'm happy I met you. I know it's totally random, a little bit strange, but come on. I had the balls to come over. Where are you? Oh. Can't just plead. <laughs> but that's what it's, it's about. That sort of you know relentlessness of it as part of it, I believe, as well. It's, yeah. sort of, it's about not give, not taking the, the loss. Work. He's kind of looking a bit angry in his eyes, though. And come on, I know it's just so right. pathetic. Skip, skip forward another minute. Let's see. I just want to see how this ends. All right, come here. Give me some love. 
Okay. Give me some you're love. Oh, oh you leave her alone. And that you, uh, you know, that you do well. Okay. Hope they pay you a thousand pounds an hour. They won't, but thank you. So it was a lot. He didn't get anything out of that. I know. And then the whole video, you can't watch it all. It'll, you'll want to kill yourself. It's 23 minutes long. He talks to like seven women. The last one's like, yeah, fine. You're right. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> this is how you do well, it, no, I mean, guys. Yeah. And that is the, oh, God. Uh, to be, it's got 1.3 million views. Has uh, it? To be fair, though, 260,000 of those are me. <laughs> so I, I watch that video a lot because it's really funny. Um Oh wow! I mean, it's just it is. It's, it's all about um, that sort of you just it's commitment almost. And I'm not saying that in a sort of uh, a confidence good way. is like ninety percent of it for him, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mooch, can I send you the? Uh, yep. One <laughs> oh, we watch his skills now. Can we watch him getting tumped with a motor? Li listeners quiet. are going to have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, do dot com to the YouTube slash channel we are to TVI. Watch that video. Hit subscribe so you get alerts at all of the new is it podcasts. Is on YouTube or? I said, I, one sec, I sent it to um, a guy a while ago. Have you ever read the, the game, the book, the game? Um, I haven't read it. I've, I've, Is that I've the seen one with the, the dice? Uh, no, no, that's, that's they, the dice guy who wrote man, that though. Dice I've man. seen he's a he's a really nice guy. Isn't so Neil he? Strauss, who wrote yeah. the game, writes he, he was written for Rolling Stone for I've years. I've heard about the brilliant, negging and brilliant stuff. music writer, and basically the game isn't really the book. I think it got the the reputation for it being because he he just wanted to he, he, he's almost like a john ronson type he'll write he'll pick a topic and really get into it and write mm. a book about <coughs> it and uh so he just wrote he wanted to write a book about pickup arts because it, it was a new craze <coughs> so he sort of almost infiltrated the world learned about it wrote the book about it but then it inadvertently became sort of a handbook by it didn't he didn't write it as a handbook for people to become these people but it sort of accidentally became that so that he oh. became like public enemy number one for writing the game and it's like no he's just a he's a, he's a he's journalist a reporter, yeah he was a big seller though he did all right yeah, but the problem is like, yeah it's that thing it's almost that problem you often find with, with comedy in it where you can't really pick your audience no you? they they choose you and often if your audience doesn't reflect you you get tired with your audience's brush esther had someone she she was at a gig wasn't she and this act was their kind of newer act and um, she'd met him before, she'd with him before, but he went up to her and she went, oh, hi. And he went, do I know you? Oh. And I like, was really rude to her. <laughs> and then he did the same to someone else and then her and someone were talking and apparently he read the game. No. And he was, yes. like, and he was like just trying to neg her. Sure, yeah, you don't just neg straight off the bat. Oh, no, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> <laughs> hi, how you doing? Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, neg the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> it's like, no, you're just rude. You ugly bitch. <laughs> It's so bad. Should we watch this other? We've got the. Have other we video. got the video? <laughs> the fight. Here we go. Oh, hang on, let me bring that over. Here. Oh yeah. This is um. Would this be pre top knot or post? This top is post. This is this, post. this is most recently. So this is a okay. year ago. This was pandemic. Got rid of the top knot then. That's Man good. Loves good. You. Trust the media. You're all doing a great job. Keep wearing those masks, guys. Keep this is like the heart of the pandemic. Wow. Sorry, can you guys social distance you in the orange? Come on, you're right next to all these people over here. Come on, think of your grandparents. This, this is a man with a lot of confidence. Yeah, yeah. so much like like a narcissistic sociopathic crazy amount. Crazy amount yeah. of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I know a lot of comedians, and they struggle to do videos talking to camera. Yeah, and they're yeah, very, yeah. very confident. Mate, but we're right like, here, man. You know, <laughs> <fucking Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but this is crazy. Um, <laughs> but other than that, you're all doing a great job. Trust in the narrative. Do what the news tells you. Do what the government tells you. You're all doing a great job. Congratulations. We love you. Congratulations for following the narrative and can trusting you, can the Can you news skip to the attack, please? <laughs> yeah, it's You're so all... boring. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> I, that was such a. Why is that guy so annoyed? That was such a change of pace. Yeah, maybe his wife just died of COVID, and then he's like, "Fuck this guy." Not wearing a mask though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the good point. Yeah. This guy's a number one anti-mask. Watch this. He puts his foot out. He puts his foot out. This guy don't even like the word mask. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! You're insane, bro. Oh, here he comes there. He's put the window up. He's coming. He's coming, boy. <laughs> I mean, he's like, trying to keep it cool. Yeah, I know he's shit in his really pants. I'm laughing. <laughs> We're trying to wake people up because you've been psyoped. We love you, people. You've been psyoped. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. I mean, the window's going to go. Oh. Oh. I mean, you shouldn't attack it. people. 
I want to, you know. Oh, you fucking asshole. We're trying to wake you people up. My bit, <laughs> my bit was an accident. Are you happy now? That's a really funny <laughs> thing to say. Like after somebody's mashed up, you're really happy now, mate. But yeah. What's yeah, amazing, the guy's like, yeah, that just cheered me up. Is right he up. goes to like, you know, we're trying to wake you up. Are you happy now? But it's like, you think that really the best way to wake people up is shouting at them through a megaphone? Uh, no. it's sort of. It's, uh, yeah, it's not the best tactic. Okay, I'm going to subscribe, <laughs> mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> subscribed to that good channel. Also, I, I, be, I was in the car next to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was driving it. <laughs> no, what I love is he, he released that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he thought this. I look good in this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He's thinking, he's thinking, how dumb is this guy? And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the guy did the right no, thing. No, you shouldn't attack somebody. Like, he's totally lost his head there, isn't it? Yeah, Somebody's yeah. shouting bullshit out of the car window. I don't give a fuck. It's not it like he had me. a mask on either. Like, <laughs> why why yeah. was he so annoyed? Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I think the guy has overreacted. Yes. But I do also don't think Alex, <coughs> Alex comes out of that video particularly well. Either. Do you think he cut him up or something like that? He was just a cyclist, like I a mean, little bit further down the road. It's possible there was some of that. Yeah, he might have done something else, like cut, have... cut him up a little yeah. bit. Um, from the video, it looks like the guy is walking past with his bike, ah. sees what's going down, and thinks, "I'm just going to abrupt this guy up." But do you Why think would he released you do that? that though? It's his like uh, Jim Jeffries moment. Like I where, hope that's where, what he thought. It probably yeah. got more views than his other videos, I bet. Well, he's actually really good at getting a lot of hits from videos where well, he looks like well a loser. Well, no, but I think <laughs> like, that's, yeah, his, no. that's his biggest skill is like, I can accidentally look like a loser and people will watch me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, that's the effective thing of that's what people want to watch. People want to watch confrontation and yeah. Yeah. fights and people being horrible and like. So I, he's, I, I never, totally... I never ever knew him really. I give him like once or twice, but I heard about him like being in people's cars but changing the music. And yeah, just yeah, being, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a yeah, right yeah, annoying. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he was good friends with the comedy terrorist. Do you remember oh, that guy? I remember guy? him, yeah. Aaron something. What was who that? Climbed, he who turned up at the prince's... Um, Client tried to climb into Buckingham Palace. He got he? in there. He got yeah, into the yeah, party yeah. and got up on stage dressed as a terrorist. Recently? No, no years ago. 2005. Dressed as a terrorist? Did you be shot these days? Yeah, you would yeah, be. yeah. Did he go to prison? Changed. He didn't, know. <clears throat> no, but he was famous because of it. Yeah, it? briefly. I saw him at, like, he was Oak quite funny. I did a few gigs with him. And uh, he used to like be, he was, he was a terrible stand up, but he was mad and he, he was quite amusing on stage. Yeah, yeah, like a and Borat him kind and, of guy. Him and Alex were always quite tight. I just, that's what I remember from that. <coughs> that's probably sort of. But is it Simon Brookin did a, lo has, did a load of he's PR got, things with the FIFA thing. Yeah, he's, a, he's a good man. He's yeah, like yeah, yeah. He did one. Britain's Got Talent as a Jew, didn't he? As a, like a. To, or something like that. And but was it rap. the same sort of era? Which, like what? A Hasidic Jew? Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah, like, and did a rap. Oh, wow. I didn't see it. Um, yeah, he's really good. Simon's very good at sort of. Yeah, remember when he gave Theresa May the the P forty five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's great. Like that. He got on stage with Kanye West. Oh yeah, Do you remember that? He did. Kanye he did. West concert. He runs on stage and starts dancing. Wasn't that at then the, the eight uh, foot bounce? That was at Glastonbury. At... He got yeah. on at Glastonbury. Wow. And he just walked on like he was joining Kanye on stage and then just got. Really <laughs> he got tackled. rushed by this bouncer. Yeah, yeah. Fuck man. He's, 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 he, again, that comes from just that boldness of yeah, Simon's like just knows how to. It's that thing of, I suppose, you've got to act like you're meant to be backstage. You've got England photo when they were... Oh, all, that was amazing. That was great. Wait, yeah. he got in an England photo? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> for the game, he, got, he just ran on with them and he's in the photo with them. Fucking hell. And I think there's another one where he gets he's in a suit and he gets with them on the plane. Oh, my God. Uh, and then the set blaster... he was the footballer. The set blaster a, a character, money. wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scouse character. Very yeah. Funny. He's a very... He's, a, he's, he's good at, funny, he's good at his characters, isn't he? Um, as an actor, have you ever thought about doing characters? Oh, please, no. <laughs> as an actor. As an actor, What's yeah. your process? Uh, Do you just play yourself? Yeah, your sort of I've played myself a few times. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the trick, I think, to acting if you're not an actor. Yeah. It's got to be a character close to your... your, your Julian, set. you take acting classes, don't you? Oh, I did, yeah, for a while. I did uh, every Monday for a while. Yeah, I, I used to like it, man. Yeah. I was so scared at first, and but I got quite into it. We did one together, I remember. Oh, we, we did, did a we Meisner. Did a, we did a Meisner class. And together. I had to stand opposite someone and like you look right into their eyes and do just. And do you remember the guy? I, I did it. I did it with that guy who just couldn't take it seriously. Oh yeah. And just would like the whole thing with Meisner. It's all about reacting. Yeah, uh, you're not acting; you're reacting, guys. And uh, and you have to just sort of say what you're feeling in that exact moment back to those. So if you're if you're there staring into, into each other's eyes and you say, "I feel nervous." That person sort of has to then, isn't like feedback there yeah, how they feel, you, and you just yeah, go back yeah, and forth yeah. with how you're feeling. Well, they they repeat what you say and then they yeah. say something. But um, but he couldn't but, do it. I like he just kept cracking and like wanting to make it. That's why his voice to strip every all the yeah, yeah, pretenses yeah. out. It's just it truth. Serious. 
but it can get quite heavy. Like it, when yeah. the the girl said some, she was looking in my eyes and she said, "He looks, he looks like a nice guy." Yeah, he looks like, kind, or something. and I just <laughs> fucking got this remote. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like, don't say that. <laughs> I'm a, it's better if they say he looks very cold. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. she got to me. I, was like, I am probably <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I'd, I'd like to do some acting classes again, actually. I've thought about yeah. it recently. It'd be good to just... The ones well, I, I think it's good brutal. for your mental... Well, not mental, well, your sort of... It's almost like therapy. It's getting to know yourself acting lessons, I think. Sure. So uh, being to... an actor is definitely not good for anyone's mental health. Oh, no, no. Acting. No. <laughs> I know enough actors to know that yeah. it's very negative for your mental health. Our life. acting teacher was brutal. Like, there'd be people crying. People wouldn't come back. I was the one that stuck at it for like over a year. Yeah, yeah. It was, I really enjoyed it. Like, it was just brutal, man. Yeah. That's because it is. It is very. It makes you very vulnerable. Yeah, right? yeah, Act, yeah. Acting properly, if you actually commit to it, it's fucking. It gets you. It's in, gets you in, out in yeah. a, out of your comfort zone. It's good, man. So I would like to do some of that. Well, let's 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 do it, guys. Film. Sign up. <laughs> wow. Um, let's let's. Uh, Julian can play my wife. <laughs> <laughs> let's do some. Paul Carl can play my baby. <laughs> Thank you. I would do that. Um, what is? Let's talk about your podcast for a bit. And then we will wrap it up. You do a podcast okay. with Red Richardson. With Red Richardson, yeah. He called. looks great nowadays, Red. I think I really love the uh, look. <laughs> Wait, what did he look like before? Well, do you know, like, <laughs> he sort of has uh, cultivated quite a look with the tash and the long the hair. mustache. Yeah, it suits you him. You know, it really suits he's him. He's so looks like funny, a, man. He looks like he's a sort hot. of seventies actor. I he's hot and funny. He was getting a bit of flack today from one of your fans oh man people <laughs> all the most of the comments we get are nothing to do with podcasts it's just people insulting red they're oh, like really? red red, uh, red looks like a fat john snow oh. red looks like pablo escobar i can't <laughs> unsee if he only it. sold cake instead of coke yeah 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 just <laughs> brutal yeah we've been doing that for like a couple months it's just like every year every episode we just do like a year in history and like it's really just a way to tell stories because every there's so many kind of forgotten interesting stories so how every, do you pick the year um, is it at random or is it like a do you we, go oh actually do you look up years and go this we, one could be good we try to space it out yeah so we don't want to do like 90s 1990s then 1990s so if we do like 1990s then we'll go back we just did like coming out in a couple weeks 1455 Whoa. 1455 but shit happened there's crazy stuff like every wikipedia what was and, happening like, around them like witches being drowned and stuff uh, 1455 <laughs> was uh is that the, plague years or Mm, pre, no, your, no, no, uh, War of the Roses. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, the film was made. Yes. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Douglas. It took, it took 500 years. It was a really, it was an extended shoot. The Black Plague really slowed down productions. And, um, when, that, when was the plague then? I I no the, it was the 17th century, wasn't it? The yeah. plague? Oh, there was, well, there's was many it, yeah. different iterations. Yeah, but I mean, like, in, cause wasn't it in Europe? Sort of, yeah, because yeah, like, the Great Fire of London sort of helped sort end it, out. it in yeah. London. That was 16th Killed those fleas. Oh, of yeah. course, yeah. Um, but... A, Maybe that could help with what COVID. was going on because that was obviously pre America. That was uh, pre America, yeah. So, it, where, where do you focus on sort of like ge geographically? Wherever wherever we can find interesting And stories. how do you pick it? You just randomly. Yeah, yeah, pretty random, yeah. I mean, and, something happened in every century, I guess. Yeah. Unless <laughs> there was one that was just natting really nice. <laughs> just went to the shops. Yeah, yeah. What's been, the, what's been your favorite year you've talked about so far? Uh,. Probably 1986, just 86. because it was the year of my birth. Okay. What else happened in that year then? Not uh, to ruin the podcast, but just give us a little... There is a guy who... Um, uh, he did a tightrope walk between the tin twin towers. Oh, that yeah. was that. I've seen the, doc the Man film on a wire. It, and I, I couldn't it. get it in my head. I was like, imagine that happened on 9-11. <laughs> 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 imagine him. Because <laughs> <laughs> when, when the first plane hit the building, people would be like, is this part of his train? Yeah, yeah it's, got, it's got to be part of it, guys. <laughs> and the second plane hits, they'd be like, this guy is a powerful guy and he's still walking. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was yeah. It's mad. Like, what the fuck was he doing that he, for? It's crazy. I mean, these people are psychopaths, but they're using it to do something like yes. that. They have no be... fear. No, no fear. they just ain't got that. You There's... don't have empathy either because you don't care that your family. They, they will find miss it you. really hard yeah, to yeah. get emotionally stimulated. So they need shit like that. Well, like, nothing like the, excites um, them. That, what's that guy? Is that Spider Man? Is that French guy who always scales things just yeah, without yeah, any yeah. ropes? Yeah, just the, climbs up buildings yeah, bare yeah, yeah. hands. Did it, did the, the shard. I, he did the shard. 
shard. Fucking oh, shard, boy. mate. Just slid down at the end. <laughs> I would. I'd rather be shot in the leg. If someone said you can either climb that building to the yeah, top, yeah, yeah. or I'll just shoot you. I'd say, yeah, just shoot me because I, I'll probably live. Yeah, yeah. Yes. As opposed to plummeting off of a building yeah, and yeah, desperately yeah, yeah. dying. Have you the, seen that? The guy free in the wing suit. So. Yes, that, free, that, that guy's. Free I can't remember his name, but that guy's the crazy. documentary. I mean, yeah, yeah. About the guy who scales um one one of the faces of Yosemite. Isn't it? What's it called? Not. I don't remember. What is it? A mountain? It's in Yosemite Park. It's a famous yep. El Capitan or something. He scales it free. No ropes. And you say a mountain. It's just a straight up wall. It's a straight up wall like that. No oh, one's ever done it without a rope. Man. And he just does it. And it's he is the most mad driven, I don't care, it, yeah, essentially sort of guy. And it is just terrifying. You're watching it. Your stomach is just like. What, what was that film you, with Stallone? Um, cliffhanger. Yeah, I love that. that. I love that. <laughs> do you th- do you Craig th- Fairbrass <laughs> in it. Do you think that guy can get life insurance? I feel like I no. Don't, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I I went for life insurance, and uh, Harry, when we're having the baby, she's like, "We need life insurance, you know, in case one of us dies, the other's taking care of him." Like, okay, let's party. Yeah. Um. So we call them. She's like, "But you said a lot of things on podcasts about yourself, so you have to be uh, very honest with these people, yeah, or else, yeah, yeah. you know, in twenty years they could find out that you lied and not give me the money if you die." That is true. I'm like, okay, fine. So she said be very honest I was like are you sure yeah okay so I get on the phone with this guy he's like have you ever been suicidal I was like yeah <laughs> and he was I'm like, suicidal now he's like when was the last time you were suicidal then I I'm in a warm bath and then now like, have you ever taken drugs I was like oh yeah and then he just goes through this cocaine yeah ketamine yeah <laughs> marijuana yeah just like everything when are we gonna get to the call this is just like <laughs> just having a chat <laughs> have you ever self harm I was like yeah and then uh, a couple days later he calls Harry and he's like yeah um no one will give Bobby life insurance. No. Not like not one company. There was no life insurance company that thinks I'm going to be alive in 30 years. Oh, no. Yeah, but I, I, get that. I got life insurance, but I didn't say any of that. I, yes. I, I got asked certain things about, but it, mine was all, I've got life insurance. And it said it was, it was time related. Like they basically said, have you been medicated for mental health issues in the last five years so it's like no well i don't know why we didn't like, do that yeah no, my, so my one did that so like my everything that i had done w- had predated it so my my pre i got a premium send me the name of your company because then i can get it through that company yes. and not lie okay i did do it via a broker um, but if you said advisor, stuff on podcasts yeah. and that it's comedy isn't it i guess well that's what i i, I, I look i instantly regretted being honest yeah <laughs> yeah yeah because <laughs> i it's um my actual, my premium, or my policy went up. I got a letter this week saying my wife will get more money now if I die. Oh, wow. Don't show her. Uh, I, did, I did actually show it by accident. Don't let her make dinner no more. <laughs> but they give you freebie. If you get, like, most life insurance policies, you get, like, quite good benefits with it. So, like, you get gym uh, discounts and lo- loads of discounts really, yeah. with, like, sort of health-related Is things. it Vitality? I've you got get, Vitality. You've got the little iWatch. Uh, well, I've not. I've actually got... So I've already got a Fitbit, Fitbit. I'm afraid. But um, I've linked... You, you link it to your... Uh, you can link it to your account so that if you're if you are somebody who exercises and walks a lot they knock they, money yeah, they, yeah you, they won't be putting your premium up to attach it to your dog <laughs> attach it to a bus yeah. <laughs> do the bus route every day Fucking hell, he's doing eight hundred thousand steps a day um oh i should say before i go uh just i feel i'm going on tour in march Excellent. if anyone enjoyed me fucking talking I'm, yeah i'm doing a 28 day, day tour <laughs> they don't enjoy just commentating over Alex and, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, where can they find out about it uh bobbymare.net BobbyMayer.net. Old school, .net. Well, I had a .com, but then oh, it got yeah. it got hacked. It got stolen by an escort website. And then I tried oh, to get yeah. it back, and it was a... I bought it. So go to BobbyMayer.com if you want a brass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then this guy had my website, and he messaged me on Twitter, and he tried to... Uh, his name was uh, Baratmir Paukau, and he tried to get me to pay him to get bobbymary.com back. So instead, I bought baratmarypowcow.com. Uh. And I, so then I'm like, well, now I have your website. And then I created a form on his website that when people clicked on it, it sent him an email asking them to free my website. Oh, that's very good. And then uh, thousands of people, he got thousands of emails. That's excellent. Oh, that's... But then eventually, I, it all uh, he put it on a, a marketplace for me to get it back, but then someone else swooped in, stole oh, my website, yeah, wow. and then that guy wanted too much money, so I never got it back. That is mad. That's why I've got an OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That and your your fat dick, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have that. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is Bar- baratmiriaka.com. Should we send him another one or? No. Yeah, send him one more. <laughs> no, I took it. I thought I took it down. Oh, God, I didn't take That's it down. Very much He's going to be so angry. I told him I took it down. <laughs> <laughs> we became friends by the end. Oh, that's good. 
Oh, you've got a little bit <laughs> of a lovely, way to, on tour. A lovely way to meet people. Yeah. Um, so you're going on to people can find out. And obviously on your social media, people can find all that out. Yeah, for Great sure. stand-up L- comedian. Very Thank you. Comedian. Listen to your podcast. It's called... The Year Is. The Year Is. With the great Red Richardson. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe that's it. I think we've got to wrap up because I have to <laughs> I've got to go. That's the end. Um, any, any other business? Patrons? Thanks to all our new patrons. Um, we just did a and patron exclusive episode. Oh, yeah. We've got, uh, we've got, and we've also got the live show from the Leicester Comedy Festival. Going up on Patreon. So we're gonna, we, have, we are having week. to snip certain bits out for legal reasons. <laughs> but anyone that was in the room did hear those. Julian touched uh, a child. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> to but basically, out. that's the nature of a live show. Things will happen that can't happen. Are even too, uh, too dodgy hot for, for, like, for, for, for the Patreon. <laughs> if you're doing things that are that can't go on Patreon, yeah, 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 yeah. Look in a mirror. I said some bad things, <laughs> but um, but they can do. If you want to come to a show that's like that, 28th of February, uh, 20 TVI so high. and What's Upset You Now teaming up for one night only. It's live. selling really fast. As yeah, well. and it's at so 21 Soho, ticket, mate. and it's going to be yeah, two podcasts live mashed up. Maybe some stand up. We haven't really decided. A couple what we're of hours. Do it. Yeah, just a good show. Drinks, fun, games, japes. Hot. Know. Sounds hot. Sex. I'll be there. I'll come watch. Sick. We've got it's like an gonna... eyes wide shut party. Yeah, yeah. We're it? just going to absolutely rut each other on stage. <laughs> Four way. Four man. Like an Amsterdam gang bang. sex party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't um, know if I'm selling it. <laughs> <laughs> we have Suddenly, people. We haven't run there's that a lot more freed up we, tickets. We haven't run that part past uh, Sean and Paul. We're going to surprise yet. them. Don't tell them. But um, Bobby, thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good for luck. Coming. This was great. Enjoy early fatherhood. Love you. Great. Thank you. And thank you, listeners. Thanks, listeners and viewers and patrons. Bye. Bye. Bye.